Alex Costa is a YouTube titan in the men's grooming scene. And with every titan, usually comes some sort of brand or product. Bloomon has Bloomon, Alpha M, Teach Hanley, Slick Hair TV from back in the day have By The Lane, and the list goes on. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impressions on Alex Costa's Fort series. Let me tell you about an English summer. It brings out the skaters buns. Some quick disclaimers before we get into it. Whilst this video isn't sponsored, the products are gifted. I'm not being paid a single penny to make this video. I'm not obligated to express any kind of opinion other than my own. I have zero affiliation with Alex Costa. He doesn't follow me on anything as far as I'm aware. And last but not least, this isn't a review. I haven't used these products enough to provide a review. This is just my first impressions. Windows down, really loud. Starting with the packaging, I like it. I think you can picture the packaging sat in a modern or minimalist bathroom or bedroom. It's tidy, it's neat. However, the argument of it not being creatively inspiring is justified. Whilst I'm personally a fan of the packaging, I do feel they've played it safe. Other than it intending to be quite classic and sleek, uh, the packaging all in all doesn't have too much character in my opinion. Um, that does, however, make it appealable to a wider market. So. I think it makes total sense as to why they've done it. Find that ticket, find it now. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is now washed. My first impressions, what were my first impressions? So, so starting with the shampoo, I feel like the washability is decent. When I say washability, what I'm really referring to is how effective of a cleanser is it? And I used two applications. I also felt like it was really easy to distribute from root to end, which is always a bonus. Moving on to the hydrating conditioner, Again, much like the last point, it was really easy to evenly distribute. I also felt like my hair absorbed it quite well. And so moving on to what I didn't like, it's quite a minor point, but I've just never really been a fan of peppermint. To me, I just find it as like, I think it's a shortcut. I feel like it's the easy thing to do. Um, so that's just like a very minor point. It did also feel like my hair was stripped of its natural oils upon the second use. However, given that it was my first time using it, I could have used maybe a little too much. I might not have even needed the second round. So that is something that I think will get better with time. But all in all, I do feel like the shampoo and conditioner is good. I could even go as far to say I would recommend them. You know what you're gonna get before you even sort of use them, so yeah. So now that we've done shampoo and conditioner, we're gonna be moving on to the Fort Series hair serum. Judging by the ingredients on this, I don't have the biggest sort of hope. It doesn't fill me with excitement, so let's just give it a go. So I've got a decent amount. Gonna saturate it through the hands and then apply. It smells really good. It almost smells like an aftershave. However, it's got a perfume in it. It's, it's artificially scented, which is generally an ingredient you want to avoid with hair products. Much like the conditioner, I feel like my hair has absorbed this product really well. It feels evenly distributed, so we'll quickly blow dry and then see what sort of impact it's had on my hair. So my hair is about 70% dry, give or take. I'm actually liking this product. My first impressions are positive. Maybe it's because I had such low expectations. All in all, I'm, I'm really liking the feel that it's given my hair. I feel like it's a lot more sort of workable. It feels hydrated. The reason why I've left my hair slightly wet still is because we're gonna move on to our very last product, which is the hair styling cream. So right away, uh, texture is very creamy, which is what you want. You can kind of already gauge that this product will be easy to apply. Again, we're getting that aftershave scent. I'm not really applying this with any rhyme or rhythm. I feel like the cream has dried up a bit, which to me is suggestive that it has some fast drying ingredients such as alcohol. Fortunately, it does brush through relatively easily, which allows us to distribute it before it dries. It fulfills the criteria of what a hair cream should feel like and act like. I'd say it's a valid contender amongst other premium hair creams. I am generally satisfied. That is how I would summarize my first impression. Short blue jeans and old night runners. As expected, the ingredients are decent. All of the Fort Series products are paraben and sulfate free as far as I'm aware. The shampoo and conditioner ingredients are particularly good. They feature an array of healthy ingredients for your hair and scalp such as shea butter, castor oil and rice protein. The only downside in regards to the ingredients as far as I'm aware is the perfume. It isn't a game changer and and it won't damage your hair, but it is synthetic. It smells a lot like a men's cologne or aftershave, which is a good business move because I know a lot of guys care a lot about the scent, but for those that are truly invested in ingredients and hair health and, and that sort of jazz, it's 
yeah, it's a bit hit and miss. Hello, so quick little editor's cut. I missed something really important, so I'm just gonna add it in here. The Fort Series Styling Cream has alcohol as one of its main ingredients. Unsurprisingly, alcohol isn't great for your hair, so over long-term use, it can lead to dry and damaged hair irritation and, and much more. However, what Fort Series have done really well here is they've almost cancelled out the effect of having alcohol in the product by implementing a blend of fruit oils. So off the top of my head, you've got olive oil, castor oil and aloe vera. There might even be a few more. So all in all, what you're left with is a hair cream which is actually suitable for everyday use because Yes, it does have drying properties, but it also has hydrating properties. So the effects almost cancel each other out, if that makes sense. High wasters, night runners, and we drink Nelson's. So my final rating. Alex Costa offers a really polished brand with Fort Series. There's nothing quirky or unordinary with Fort Series. What you see is what you get. And I think there's a big appeal in that for the average guy. I now realize having made this video that I had very low expectations for Fort Series. And that's because it reminded me heavily of House 99 by David Beckham. Again, the products weren't awful by House 99, but you can tell it was a bit of a money grab. It didn't feel like David Beckham himself would have even used House 99 products. And given that Fort Series is branded somewhat similarly through packaging and targeted toward the same demographic, I was anticipating the same situation. However, based on my first impressions, I do feel Fort Series has delivered. I give Fort Series a rating of 775 out of 10. That's obviously subject to change the more I use the products and the more familiar I get with the brand. But all in all, a very positive first impression.